Praise the Lord. It's a pleasure coming your way once again to share a few thoughts with you from the Word of God. And we want to bless the Lord so much for all our cherished viewers out there, for the various calls and the feedbacks and text messages we've been receiving from you. We want to bless God for what He's doing with your lives. Today I speak with you on what I have titled, The Picture of Uncontrolled Life, The City with Broken Walls. And we pick our scripture reading from Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 28 from the English Standard Version of the Bible. A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. The scripture is giving us an explanation and then an image about a man, or in other words, a woman who lacks self-control. And the Bible is saying that just like we see a city so fortified and so prepared, a glorious city, a city that looks so secured and so established. The Bible is saying that a man without self-control, his life can be compared to a city which walls have been broken into. What it means is that the city from afar or from the outward view looks so glorious, so beautiful and so secured yet the substance within the city cannot hold and cannot stand the test of time what it means is that the city can look glorious from afar it looks so beautiful but then when you get closer you discover that there are no substance today there are a lot of systems but with no substance a lot of form but lacks function so i came your way to ask you especially as a young man or as a young woman what are the things that are craving for your appetites what are the things that are championing your desires in the areas of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and pride of life? The Bible is saying that a man without self-control is like a city broken into. What it means is that in that broken city, the walls are down. And therefore, every good thing leaves that city. And all the bad things that can be, can be imagined are also thrown into that city. You become then a garbage or a refuse dam where garbage are being pushed into. I came your way to advise and then to inspire you as a young man or as a young woman. Be very careful with the things your appetites are craving for because you must begin to subject your feelings and subject your appetites to values and principles in this life so that you don't become like a city whose walls are broken into but rather a fortified city that can stand the test of time. A life must be controlled, and we control our lives first by accepting Jesus and by working with the Holy Spirit. And therefore, when you come into the kingdom, you walk under his liberty. What it means is that you are directed by the Spirit of God, and where you do not live to please yourself. So therefore, do not allow food and drink or sex champion and guard the course upon which you are traveling, but rather, be a fortified city that has walls which are also fortified. May you therefore become a pillar of Zion, well established, that no one can easily enter into you and nothing good can easily leave you, but rather a fortified city. Do not allow anything to blow into your system and do not also accept anything on the facial value, but rather be that fortified city that can stand and can stand the test of time. A man without self-control, a woman without self-control, is someone who is governed not by the reason of his senses, but is governed by the reason of his passion and of his appetites. May that never be your portion, but rather be someone whose government, someone whose rules, someone whose day-to-day -day living are carefully ordered by a spirit-controlled individual. May the Holy Spirit control you and may you be guided by the Spirit and live up not to become a broken city, not become a city whose walls are broken down. May you stand and may you be a clear image even in this day and age that people shall look even up unto you and learn some lessons. May the Lord bless you and cause His Spirit to shine upon you and then give you peace on every side. Amen. And if you want to invite Jesus into your life, I want to give you this opportunity. You want to invite Jesus into your life? The one who holds our lives 
the one who comes and controls our destiny. You need him in your life. And when he comes, he will order your steps. So you want to pray this prayer with me. If you have never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, say, thank you, Lord Jesus, for my life. I bless you for today. I have heard your word today that I mustn't become a broken city, but rather a fortified city. Therefore, Lord, I invite you into my life that wash me from all my sins and give me the spirit of self-control that I'll be able to control and discipline my appetites and bring them under subjection and under the control of Christ. Lord Jesus, write my name in, in the Lamb's book of life and help me to live for you the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you have prayed this prayer with me, then I want to invite you to church. You can join us at PIWC Swami or to any of the Church of Pentecost branches all over the world. We look forward to seeing you and I shall come away some other time. Stay blessed.